So I'm planting purple sprouting broccoli or transplanting a seed tray full of purple sprouting broccoli. Whenever you start eating or harvesting purple sprouted broccoli, you plant the seeds or sow the seeds for the next year's harvest. It's a spring food that I absolutely love. And I don't grow all my vegetables, but I do grow vegetables that I love that are probably very expensive to buy. And purple sprouting broccoli is one of those that is such a delicious delicacy. I absolutely love purple sprouting broccoli. I don't know why I'm whispering. It's raining outside. I'm whispering because these baby broccolis are tiny. Maybe that's why I'm whispering because it's a delicate process. Oops. I find I have to plant the whole seed packet because if I save the seeds, only plant a few for the following year, and saving more for the following year, they don't necessarily germinate as well. And this way, I can give gifts as purple sprouting broccoli babies to friends who also grow and love purple sprouting broccoli. Like Susan, who's staying here, helping me through lambing, I will give her baby seedlings to take home to plant in her garden when she's lambing's over and she heads back to her cottage in the west of Ireland. Oops. So there's loads and loads of delicious babies. And this is what you do when it's raining outside. You plant on your seedlings. Also, planting so many makes it so that uh, if there's a high failure rate, at least there will be a few that will survive. That's the important part. <laughs> Oops, I broke that one's root. So that's not going to survive. See, I can be brutal unintentionally and abuse my vegetables unintentionally.